hey, I already made a podcast today, but I'm going to make another one because the last one really annoyed me. Like, everything about it, the way that I was fidgeting around and how the microphone kept popping. I realized I th- I think I have to talk, like, at about this distance away from this microphone and with this voice. Otherwise, it just doesn't really sound good. So instead of deleting the last podcast, I think I'm just going to make a new one. Because I kind of do have some have something else I want to talk about. Um, in this podcast, there's something slight that I've been thinking for a while the past couple of days. It's like I've been considering it. I don't know if I really think it or believe it, but there's this, like, suspicion I have sometimes that when people see me and they interact with me, especially with strangers, as someone who hasn't known me for very long, they think that I'm not being my real self. They think that I'm, um, like, acting someone who I want to be instead of being who I am. And mainly because they take a look at, like, my face and my hair and my body, and they have this, like, image, or they have this personality in their minds that fits the image that you are. And then when they hear you speak sometimes, you're not what they were expecting. And they believe their own prediction or expectation of you so much more than they believe who you present yourself as, that they actually think that you're not being yourself, that you're being like someone else. Or like I said, you're like acting the person that you want to be. And they're just like quietly performing that judgment on you, that you are like, you're not matching your own self. And they think they know what yourself is. And the reason I consider this is <coughs> I think naturally I'm not, like, smart. And <laughs> the reason I consider this is, like, I, like, when I talk into this microphone a lot and I enunciate my words and I practice speaking and I practice speaking, actually sometimes I think I'm not being myself. It almost is true to judge that I'm being someone that I want to be instead of who I most absolutely naturally would have been. But also, I'm considering this theory or whatever because I've thought that about people before. I remember there was this one guy at work and the first first time I met him and like even weeks and weeks, maybe even months into interacting with him, It still seemed to me like this dude was acting a character. He was like acting a character. He was kind of like loud and had this southern accent. And he was kind of goofy. And when I first saw him, I did not expect that personality to come out of him. And when it came out of him, it seemed like an act. It really did seem like an act. It didn't seem very genuine. But then... After I kept interacting with him for months and months and months and months of being at that job to the point where it got into over a year, I saw that guy persist, that character, to the point where it changed my own mind and I began believing who he was acting to be to the point where it didn't look like an act anymore. I was like, this is genuine. This is sincere. (coughs) So, like, I think, like, Yeah, like, when people see you, when people see me, sometimes I wonder, I worry, when I start talking, do they think I'm trying to be fucking intellectual? Because sometimes when I talk, like, to strangers, I'll say things that sound smart, because that's what came to my mind, and it felt like the right thing to say, probably because my brain was just in a book or something, Or like when the plumber was here the other day, he said to me, you know, my my old boss at an old job said to me, we should not tell people in the houses how we fix their plumbing. 
because it will take away from our business and it will take away from the demand and the need for us and I said to him back that's why I was reluctant to ask you about that question earlier but you were generous in giving me the information and it was just the way that I said that where I used the word reluctant and generous in the same sentence it doesn't necessarily seem like a sentence that would come off of a guy who looks like me I don't know if this is bragging or what but I look kind of like a football player. My superintendents once asked me, why aren't you a football player? That's usually when I work out, though, and when I put muscle on. Although I'm not that tall. I'm only like six foot tall, but that's still kind of tall. But I also look like... I look in my face like I would only be concerned about getting pussy all the time, like a fuckboy. I've met fuckboys, and they usually say funnier shit than me. Sometimes I think that's what strangers are expecting out of me. Like I'm trying to sound like Terrence McKenna, but I look more like Channing Tatum with less muscle. You expect to hear something closer to the appearance. Like a lot of times after people hear me talk, they tell me I'm weird. Because I think because I like to think deep about strange topics. When you first see me, you think I'm going to be weird, do you? Or do I look like I'm going to fit in? Just fit right into pussy all day long. I think it's impossible not to judge a face. Like, we all subconsciously guess what a person is going to be like when you see them at a distance approaching you. I'm just saying my personality doesn't match what I look like in many people's eyes. I don't look like a guy who would say the word reluctant and generous in the same sentence so quickly back. A person who would say the words reluctant and generous and just say what I said looks more like a person who would wear glasses. Someone who looks like the image of intelligent. Or at least not someone who looks like me. Like, you can get intelligent-looking people without wearing glasses. I don't know, it's just like faces. The way faces look. It's like, based on the way that I look, I look like someone who would say stupid shit quite often. And then when you hear me speak, or it's like, hold on, I should say, I don't think that other people... It's like I don't, when they first see my face, I, I don't think they would expect me to sound like this. They would expect that I'm going to say stupid shit quite often. You know, and then when they hear me talk, sometimes I think that they're interpreting how I'm talking as trying hard to not be myself. And trying hard to not say stupid shit. Like, I just look like I'm actually trying to avoid being myself. I'm actually trying to avoid saying stupid shit. To the point where, like, it sounds like I'm going out of my way. Working into the realms of not even being myself. Like, it's sad and kind of stereo... Like, like you... Like, we assume stereotypes, but we naturally assume a certain face is going to be a certain way when the personality comes out of it. So, like, yeah, the other day when I said that to the plumber, it's just one example, but of a time where, like, I said something where it doesn't look like it might not look like myself. That's coming out of my own mouth. And it honestly seemed like for a second that dude had like this subtle subconscious kind of a, like an oh, uh, in his mind. Like, oh, this guy's trying to sound smart. I don't know for sure if he thought that, 
but it was literally like the the vibe of the conversation hit this bump from his perspective like i could see almost like this bump in the vibe of the conversation but the bump was coming from his interpretation of what i had said and that little bump was him thinking in his mind like oh this guy is trying to sound smart and i don't know for sure if he thought that i don't know <coughs> but like i said i've thought that about people when i first met the dude at work i was like oh this guy's trying to put on a character it wasn't so conscious of a thought i didn't i didn't put that into words in my own mind like, sometimes we kind of talk to ourselves in our own mind and think in words. I didn't think that in words. It was just a silent sort of understanding where, like, what I thought was correct in my own mind, where I was like, oh, you know, sometimes people in this world, they have to set up a personality for themselves. This guy's trying to do it. And the personality that he chose is what he wants to be, but it doesn't seem like who he is. Like, I, I've been kind of that judgmental on people before, and I can't help it. Sometimes you do meet people, and immediately they seem like exactly who they look like. And there's just absolutely no surprise. And other times when you meet people, like, a fucking white politician's voice will come out of a dude who's black with a hoodie who looks like he would talk like he's in a projects like with a projects accent but anyway that's probably not a good example it is a good example but it's like i'm actually worried right now that i sound racist <laughs> i'm not racist but not in the sense that i don't like other races i wish i could do a good impersonation to make the point like Yo, homie, I'm trying to peel up out this country-ass motherfucker. Go back to the crib. Get some boggy snoggy. Imagine if I just talk like that for a second, and I ask you to try to picture the person who would talk like that. How often would you picture a white man in a suit? If the answer is almost never, it doesn't mean you're racist. It just means your brain is like, a probability and statistics estimator of people's appearance, whether you can mostly help it or not. But just to conclude this podcast, don't worry if you don't sound how you look to certain people's eyes. Don't try to change one to match the other, unless it feels right. And remember, too, that people's interpretation of your personality will eventually become, like convinced that you are sincere if you persist that self that you are for long enough also some people will see you as genuine immediately other people won't and the people who do might not have if they would have woke up on the wrong side of the bed and vice versa sometimes i feel like i go through phases of interpreting where I trust and I trust everything until I'm gullible and then a bad experience makes me skeptical and I try to find like yeah after I'm skeptical then I try to find a happy medium but I can't settle kind of like how the ocean tides come in and out and they can't settle but for now I guess I'll turn this podcast off